Hey everyone, this is Justin from Amplified Parts. Today we are going to show you how to install a Bigsby using the Vibramate V7 LP mounting kit. Super simple, should not take very long, and uh, you'll be getting your Neil Young on in no time. First, before we do any of that, I put a little bit of this slick nuts from the fine folks over at Lizard Spit into the nut slots. That'll help with some tuning stability when you have the Bigsby installed, you know, because you're throwing a vibrato on this thing and, you know, it's it's just best to have a little bit more lubrication in the nut so you can uh, cut down any friction. So, like I said before, we already removed the strings. So the next step is to remove the tailpiece, the tailpiece studs, and the original strap button. So the tailpiece studs can pretty much just be removed by hand. The strap button we're going to have to do with a Phillips head screwdriver. So the next step is going to be to install the tunematic portion of the Vibramate plate onto the guitar. We'll do that right now. It's pretty quick. We're going to use the metric screws because this is an Epiphone. So the metric screws in the kit will be indicated by being the Phillips head screw. You're going to want to screw these down fairly tight. Next thing we're going to do is install the tailpiece portion of the Vibramate plate onto the Bigsby itself. Now it will um, go on with four screws. They're the smaller screws in your kit. They're going to be the definitely the shorter screws than the main mounting screws. That little guy there. And what you're going to do is you're going to face the felt portion of the Vibramate plate towards the guitar. For obvious reasons, I mean, you don't want it to scratch up your guitar when you're, when you're installing this. So we'll put these screws in. These go in pretty easily and, you know, you don't want to over-wrench them like crazy. I'm a, I'm a wrencher myself, so if I'm, a, I'm watching it, then maybe you should too. Okay, so the next step is going to be to install the entire Bigsby assembly on your guitar. It's pretty quick. Uh, it's just the three screw attachment. We'll get started on that right now. You're going to use the slightly bigger screw, which are just the standard mounting screws that come with this, for the front two Now, I don't get these incredibly tightened down from the start. I like to leave them a little bit loose while you get everything in position, just so that, you know, you can kind of work it the way that you need to to get your strap button pin in. So next we're going to install the strap button. Basically, you're just going to screw it in. We're going to use this small spacer that they give you. Now again, I don't want to go too tight on this until I have everything lined up the way I want to. So that's it. Your Bigsby is installed. Really all that's left to do is put this spring and this small washer into the Bigsby itself. You want to make sure you do that because if you forget to and then you string it up, it's, it can be a little irritating to get in there. And uh, that's it. We're just going to string it up and we'll be ready to go. All right. So there you have it, everyone. Guitar's all strung up. We use these Fender nickel-plated steel strings on the guitar. This guitar has humbuckers, so I, I like to use nickel-plated steel. We also have these available in a pure nickel, which if I were doing a single coil guitar like a Fender Strat, that's what I'd be using. Everything's on there, good to go, and the best part is you can take it right back off if you don't like it. There's no permanent drill holes or anything like that. It's awesome. Um, you'll see links below the video you're watching right now for just about everything we use today or you can go to our website at www.amplifiedparts.com and check everything out there. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check back next week when we have another video up. Uh, we should be doing these just about weekly. Thanks for watching.